Welcome to Down Home Cooking with Angie. I'm so excited to be with you today. Today we're gonna try Zupa. Not try Zupa, because I cook Zupa at least once a month for my family. But I wanted you all to see how I prepare my Zupa. I don't do it quite exactly like Olive Garden. And I think I add a few things to it that they don't add. I make it all mine, it's my recipe. And so therefore, at the end of this uh, video, if you want my recipe of Zupa, then just write down home cooking with Angie or email me and I'll be glad to tell you how you can get it. We're well, going to get started right now. The first thing I'm going to do with this Zupa, I've already cut up eight slices of bacon. I cut the bacon up, put it in my um, Dutch oven and let it get good and crispy. Okay. This is gonna get good and crispy. I got it in here. And while we're talking about getting good and crispy, I just got a word. I just wanna say this real quickly. We're getting the bacon already. I wanna say for 2020, you young ladies that's out there, I want you to begin to love yourself. Love yourself more than you do your boyfriend. Love yourself more than you do your girlfriends. Just love yourself. And the way that you love yourself, you begin to do things to appreciate you. So many times we look for people to appreciate us or to validate us, but you know what? For the mere fact that God has allowed you to come into this world lets me know that you are special. And the very first thing that you can do to love yourself is to reinvent yourself. Do something that you've been wanting to do for a long time. Okay, here we go. You can hear my bacon sizzling in my Dutch oven and we're gonna get it good and crispy. And once we get it good and crispy, I'm gonna take it out of the Dutch oven because what we'll do with it when we finish the zupa, we'll put it into uh, in the zupa on top of it, and it serves as a topping. And then when we dump it, uh, when we dip it out of the uh, zupa, what happens is when we're eating the potatoes and the onions uh, and the sausage and the other special ingredients that I put into it, what happens? We get that little crunch. So I think you would enjoy that. You hear that sizzling? There you go. Begin to smell like hmm zupa in my house. And you know what? Zupa is a good comfort food. So, you might not fix as much as I'm fixing now because what I did, I doubled my recipe. And the reason I doubled my recipe is because my family, bless their heart, they will eat and eat and eat until there's no more Zupa left. Some of them eat as much as three bowls, okay? And that's okay because it's low fat. Low fat Zupa. You know, you can cook it and you gotta worry about gaining weight. Okay, we got that going good. Let's let that cook a little bit. And let's go on and put our sauces in this skillet, okay? This is, um. Italian sausage, and this Italian sausage was in the uh, casing, and I took it out of the casing. So now we're gonna let this um, get good and brown, and this is what's gonna go inside the zupa and give us that taste that we love. Okay, that's gonna brown, and also, um, I'm gonna real quickly dump my special ingredient in there so you won't see that one, okay? <laughs> no, my special ingredient, I'm gonna tell you, one of them. Hamburger. And the reason I put the hamburger in, because sometimes the sausage can have sort of like a um, a real um, hmm, hot taste to it or a real strong taste. And I use the hamburger to just tone it down a little bit. Uh, I'm at the age now when I don't want things to be too, too spicy. So that's what my um, sock, my hamburger would do for it. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. I'm gonna show you what it looks like when the bacon is all crispy and when the hamburger is all brown. Okay, we're back. Down home cooking with Angie. As you can see, we've allowed the bacon to crisp up. We're taking it out. Put it in a separate container. We've already drained our uh, sausage and hamburger. And what I'm gonna do with the bacon grease, I'm gonna leave it in here and I'm gonna put some onions in it. I'm gonna saute our onions for a couple of minutes. Oh, you smell that? Oh my goodness, that smells so good. That smells delicious. I'm telling you, it's gonna be delicious when I finish with it. And after the onions, the next thing I will do, I will put garlic in, and the garlic adds flavor to it. And uh, then we'll get ready to add our broth to it, okay? And I know I'm throwing a lot of things out there at one time, but when you get the recipe, then you'll be able to follow the recipe. Basically, what you wanna just do is just see me prepare it, okay? Um, we was talking about loving yourself, and you know what? My daughter reminded me some, of something. She said back in the old days, or the olden days, we called it, 
mothers will be in the kitchen cooking and the daughters will be in there with them and the mother will be giving them the advice of things that they should do or life lessons. And I didn't think about that when I was talking about loving yourself. I want you to know that before anybody could ever love you, you first got to love who you are. You got to appreciate the skin that you're in. Thank God that you are who you are. You're the size that you are. You can reinvent yourself. I think about me and I think about how much weight I have gained over the years. I think I had gotten almost up to what? 278, 279 pounds. And uh, one day I got tired of all that weight and I started really loving myself. I found that I was eating stuff I shouldn't be eating. I would be like an emotional eater. And some of you right now, you're an emotional eater. And what's really funny, some people ask me, say, you cook all that food. Do you eat all that food? No, I don't eat all this food. Let me tell you right now, my daughters laugh when I say it. It's all about portion control. I eat <laughs> portion control. You see me eat very um, little bit of this and a little bit of that. We can still eat good and, and, and enjoy ourselves. We just don't have to just overdo it. So the first thing I did when I started reinventing myself is that I wanted to get some of the weight off, and I did. And I went from a size 24 into a size 12, 14. That's what I am right now, size 12, 14. But my goal for 20, 2020 is to be a size 8. Size 8, size, yeah, size 8 and size 10, because I'm like 12, 14 now. So I'm saying all that to say to you all um, that love to cook and you want to look nice, and everybody that cook is not overweight, uh, one thing I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start preparing a lot of foods uh, that's very um, low carb so that you can get an idea of that. My daughters told me they would really appreciate that. What I just did, I put some, added some garlic in here along with these onions. And that looks just so good to me. I'm telling you, this is going to be some good zupa, okay? And the very next thing I'm going to do with this zupa, I'm going to add some uh, <laughs> chicken broth. But the thing about this chicken broth is an Italian chicken broth. Now, I'm gonna use two. I'm gonna use the regular chicken broth, but also I'm gonna use the Italian chicken broth, okay? And that's something that I don't think Olive got can do, but that's something that I'm going to do. So I'm gonna go on and pour my broth into my Dutch oven. Let it cook in there real, real good. And by the way, if you enjoy my cooking uh, on YouTube, please go and subscribe to my channel, Down Home Cooking with Angie. And not only that, but encourage your friends and your family members and your girlfriends and whoever that like to cook. Encourage them to um, go and subscribe to my channel also. And we have a Facebook page. It's called Southern Cooking with Angela and Friends. And if you go to that, then you can go and see some of the recipes that we have. We have other people coming in and sharing things. Uh, one of the women in particular, and I love, well, I love everybody's food, but Deborah Dudley out of Kinston, North Carolina, and Cynthia Wooten out of Kinston, North Carolina. They are two of my favorites. I love to go in and see different things that they put up. Down Home Cooking with Angie. Look at this broth. I want you to put the camera there. I want them to see that. Doesn't that look good? That looks delicious. You know what I'm doing to add to this broth? We are getting ready to add the potatoes. I've got them all chopped up. Pour those potatoes in here. And when you, when we come back, guess what? The very next thing you're gonna see is that the potatoes are gonna be done. They're gonna be all soft. And then I'm gonna put the um, Italian sausage and hamburger in here. And then we'll add the kale. We'll be back in a little. Hey, we're back. Look at this broth. It smells so good in here. I'm telling you, look at the broth. Look at the potatoes. Potatoes look just delicious. I'm telling you. I know this is going to be good, and my family is going to truly, truly enjoy it, okay? Remember I told you that I drained the sausage and the hamburger? You see the potatoes, and I'm getting ready to just dump all of this good stuff. All of this good stuff. Here we go. I'm going to dump all of that. Put this over here real quick. Into this, and I'm going to switch burners. This burner burns better than this one, but look at this. Oh, my gosh. That looks good. I'm gonna just transfer it over here because this one burned just a little bit faster than the other one. And you know what? While I was doing this, I was thinking about 2020 and I was thinking about um, how that uh, if we really want to make a difference in our life, how we have to get rid of all the negative energy. If you have some negative energy in your life, 
I want to admonish you right now to get rid of it. I don't care who it's coming from because you know what? Negative energy causes negative things to happen to us and positive energy causes positive things to happen to us. I've got some big goals and uh, anyone that don't believe in what I'm doing or what I'm believing God for, I'm just kind of excusing them out of my life, you know? This is the day and the hour when we must um, reach for the stars. And that's what I'm planning on doing, reaching for the stars. Okay, you see the bra going? And just continue to look at that bra. I'm going to step over here a minute and I will get the kill. This is the part that I absolutely love, this kale. And you know what? The more kale you put in it, the better off it tastes. You see my... Um, Broth my potatoes, they're cooking real good. I have onions in it, garlic in it. I added a little salt, a little pepper. I also put some flakes, red pepper flakes in it, because I like it to have that like, oh, I like to kind of really taste it. Okay, now what I'm doing now, I'm getting ready to put my kale into this. And the more kale you put in it, the better off. On my recipe, I'll tell you to put maybe four cups of kale, but in all actuality, I keep adding kale and adding kale until I can't add any more kale because I just love kale like that. But when we finish this, you're gonna see just how beautiful it is and you're gonna say, hey, I can do that. This is one of the quickest meals that I've ever fixed and my family just love it. And so I know that your family will love this too. So I'm gonna put the kale in and the kale is only gonna cook maybe for about five minutes. And after we cook this for five minutes, I'll come back. I'm going to add my heavy cream to it, and I'm going to add my bacon to it. And then we're going to be ready to chow down. Okay, we'll be back in a few. Oh, my goodness. Look at my zupa. Look at my kale. It's all wilted down in here. Oh, my God. My husband is in here somewhere, and I know he's going to come and want to. He always tastes my broth. So I'm going to go in and get my broth ready, and he will let me know whether or not... Um, it needs something. So I'm just going to put a little broth in here and let him come be my mm, 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 mm. What do I need to add? Girl, you don't need to add nothing. This is off the chain. Okay, well, mm. the broth is right. So the only thing I need to add oh. now is to put my um, heavy cream in it. Okay? Okay. We're back. This is the finished product almost. You see the zupa. You see the kale in it. Now I'm getting ready to put some cream in this about a cup of cream. Oh my goodness, look at that. Well, you can look at that. And you just kind of stir it around. You see all the meat in it. Oh. And one thing I don't like to do, I will cook something and for example, if it say cook it for 10 minutes, I'll cook it for maybe seven to eight minutes and then turn it off and let it finish cooking by itself. Okay, you see that? Now, I like sprinkling Parmesan cheese in mine. You can either do it now <laughs> or you can do it when you finish with it and put it in the bowl. I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of Parmesan in there. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. And this is what really makes it good. Remember the bacon? Okay, watch this. Just, just dump the whole thing in it. <laughs> okay, this is Zupa, people. Zupa, one of the quickest meals that you can ever make and one that your family will ask for time and time again. If you like what you see, then go to my um, YouTube channel and subscribe to Down Home, Down Home Cooking with Angela or you can write to me and we will have the email at the end of this YouTube. Write to me and tell me that you want the recipe, my recipe to Zupa. I told you that Olive Garden has a recipe and this is similar to it, but I've added a little things in it. I'm perfecting it my way because this is down home cooking with Angela and I add just a little bit of soul to it, okay? And not just that, but we have something here that we're starting. If you have something you want me to talk about while I'm cooking, if you have a question you want to ask, or maybe something you're going through in your personal life, or whatever it might be, and you want to ask me about it, then I want to encourage you right now to write to me at, uh, I can't see it, <laughs> but I want you to write to me. It's going to be at the end of the um, video, at the end of this video. Write to me 
and I will answer it. We're gonna do, um, every time I do a cooking video, we're gonna do a mailbox, where I go in the mailbox and I pick out whatever the question is or whatever you want me to talk about. Uh, and we're gonna do what grandma used to do. We're gonna talk and cook at the same time. I truly enjoyed being with you and I'm so thankful that you took out the time to watch me prepare this super. One more time, let's put this super and just look at it. You think you can enjoy that? You think your family can enjoy it? I think they can. Go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Down Home Cooking with Angela. I'll see you next time. Bye.